Ocean Systems is excited to announce the release of ClearID 2.5 for forensic image clarification. With 2.5, we added many new features and improved the user controls which allow you to perform image analysis quicker while maintaining a forensically sound workflow that is reproducible. With ClearID 2.5, we've upgraded the preview performance in several of the workflow modules to real-time. This matches the performance of other real-time ClearID preview windows. We've also added a super-resolution workflow. This is designed to deal with the low frame rates that you often see in video. Also new in 2.5 is a color channel selector that is interactive and provides you with more channels to choose from. So let's take a look at ClearID 2.5. In ClearID 2.5 we address the changes made with the release of Photoshop CS5 by adding the F7 key assignment for launching the ClearID workflow. While the F10 key may still function for many users, it's recommended that you use the new F7 key for the most reliable performance when launching ClearID. The next update we made was in response to how Adobe Photoshop CS5 interprets TIFF images that have alpha, opacity, or transparency channels. These images can come from various places, including images that were scanned, exported directly from DVRs, or images that were created with older versions of DVR decoder, prior to version 2.52. When using Photoshop CS5 to view these images, they may appear as a checkerboard pattern with no visual information. Although you can quickly drill through the Adobe menus and make the adjustments to deal with the checkerboard pattern, ClearID 2.5 provides you with two simple solutions. First, ensure the image or images is the proper format by importing them into the Photoshop with the upgraded ClearID function, Import Images as Layer Stack. This is located under the Photoshop file scripts. Importing images this way will now remove the alpha channel upon import. Using this method, we'll also assign a hash value to each image. The second option is to import images into Photoshop from the Adobe Bridge. However, in some cases, an image or images that can display correctly in Bridge may display the same checkerboard pattern once imported into Photoshop CS5. If this occurs, simply select the F8 key and ClearID 2.5 will remove the alpha channel on the single image or the stack of images. Now let's take a look at the new features in the ClearID 2.5 workflow interface. The first thing you may notice is a feature called Split Layer Stack into Fields, located in Tab 1 of the workflow interface. In prior versions, this was used to deinterlace images one at a time and was a process that took many steps to complete. Now, in a matter of seconds, you can quickly separate a single image or multiple images into separate odd and even fields simply by using the split layer stack into fields. Also in tab 1, we've updated the video field alignment tool by adding user-friendly keyboard shortcuts to help you align your fields. Selecting the control key plus the arrow keys work the same as using the arrow buttons in the interface. We've also added similar keyboard commands to other clear ID functions as well. In tab 2, we added a new section called Super Resolution Functions. Within this function, you will find a feature called Adjust Image Size. Since this was moved to the new Super Resolution workflow, we gave it a more appropriate name, which matches its functionality, Adjust Image Size. Next, we added a new feature called Align Layers and Average. This is a powerful tool for accurately lining up and frame averaging images you previously imported as layers. To help you quickly align your images, we've implemented keyboard and mouse controls. So now, holding down the control key while using arrow keys moves your images in any direction. Holding down the control key and using your mouse will quickly move the image even more. Another function we added is a separate tool called Average Layer Stack. This is for those situations where you don't need to align the images first. Finally, we move the older Frame Average tool to a heading called Clear ID Legacy Function for those who still want to use or access this feature. Tab 3 is another place you'll find improvements to the workflow. We split Interactive Deblur into two separate functions, Lens Deblur and Motion Deblur. These tools now have real-time previews to match the real-time preview functionality of other ClearID functions. In Tab 4 is a new feature named Interactive Channel Selector. This is a powerful and dynamic way to find the color channels that provide you the most useful information. We've added more channels to choose from compared to the eight that were previously available in Pick a Color Channel, which incidentally was moved under the heading of Photoshop Legacy Function. Among the extra channels we added are Hue, Saturation, and Intensity, as well as a panchromatic option that mimics the black and white film which reduces the color noise even more. 
Along with adding more channels, we also added a real-time preview. You can now interactively switch between channels using your keyboard. For example, hitting R will show you the red channel, hitting B will show you the blue channel, and so forth. And when you want to compare between the two color channels, simply press your keyboard spacebar and it lets you toggle between your last two selections. You'll also find two new contrast options. These are expanded contrast and inverted contrast. Expand contrast is an auto feature that is similar to dragging the ends of your histogram edges within the Photoshop levels. Invert contrast does what the name implies. This can be useful for getting additional details from your images. There are a lot of new features here, so we recommend that you refer to the user's guide to learn more. From the outside, everything may look the same, but 2.5 has also upgraded the performance of Pattern Remover. This is one of several processor-intensive ClearID Fourier transfer tools that we upgraded to real-time preview so Pattern Remover will now launch faster, render faster, and provide you with real-time preview performance. These performance improvements can also be found with Ultimate Sharpener, located in tab 6 of the workflow, and Frequency Filters, which is located in the Function Index of the ClearID workflow. Finally, the last improvement made to 2.5 was to the verification report. The report itself is now in HTML format, making the report easier to read. This also allowed the report to be viewed using various HTML web browsers. Taking advantage of the HTML format also allowed us to make the report interactive with the new expand and collapse modes. Another advantage of the HTML format allowed us to include a thumbnail image of your final analysis. This can help you identify the case you processed when revisiting the verification report at a later time. And last, the verification report now includes the version number of ClearID and Photoshop used to process the image. That's a quick look at what's new in ClearID 2.5. For more detailed information, you can click on the blue radio information button located in the ClearID interface. This will provide you access to the user's guide. You can also find a summary of what's new in the release notes provided with the program. If you haven't been to training in a while, we invite you to contact us about our continuing education Forensic Video Analysis 201 training class or visit the Ocean Systems website to access the schedule. Ocean Systems would like to thank everyone who provided valuable input which allowed us to develop the new release of ClearID 2.5. We feel this is a significant upgrade and will allow you to get better results in less time. This in itself translates into lower investigative costs for your department. Thank you once again for choosing Ocean Systems as your forensic solution provider.